Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Saturday to everybody. Today I wanted to share a couple of cards that I created this morning for uh, Jill Norwood's Saturday Morning Makes. Hello ladies. Um, I hope you guys are doing well this morning and um, if you guys haven't checked out the other ladies um, as well as Jill Norwood they've created some amazing projects I haven't seen all of them yet but if you do a search on YouTube um, and do hashtag sat morn makes um, you will get a, a list of all their channels and you can check out what the other ladies have created and so let me go ahead and share what I did. I just created a couple of cards and I did use um, this digital uh, paper kit from decorateyourlife.com who is Sandy here on YouTube. And so if you guys are interested in that, um, I will leave the link in the description box. But I did use a couple of the papers and then um, I also use um, Tim Holtz uh, new um, Sizzix uh, 3D Impresslets. This is such a fun die, you guys. They, the snowflakes come out so pretty and you can layer them or you can use them one, um, you know, uh, separate from each other, but they are two different sizes. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then I also used an older die here by Stephanie Bernard. This is a must have in your stash if you like sweets and cupcakes. Um, I went ahead and created a, um, a, a nice large cupcake and um, I used all of the dies here um, with the exception of the sprinkles, this one and this one right here and the cherry. Um, but I did put my card together. I didn't um put my card um the way they did they have it opening upward and i i made mine um opening from the side like this as you would for a regular card so that is what um i used so let me go ahead and share my first one um for my first card here it is it's kind of like a slim line card it's very small i mean it's very long um I think it's only about four inches and the base might be four and a quarter inch um, wide and seven and a half inch tall and as you can see on the very tip top there is that beautiful snowflake from Tim Holtz and um, I did just layer that over um, this uh, die cut piece why it's not a die cut, I actually fussy cut this Christmas tree um, from uh, Sandy's paper here. One snow me Christmas, in case you're wondering. Um, and so I did, um, yeah, I wanted to put the snowflake right behind the top of that Christmas tree. And um, it is popped up. So if you guys can see, I popped up some of the elements. I mostly used uh, basically the paper um, and I just fussy cut a lot of the elements that you see here, um, like the gingerbread cookies there, um, which are snowflake shaped, super cute. And um, I did use um, my stickles and it's this one right here, Stardust, which is one of my favorites. Um, and then um, I also used these um, little candy in the middle there of the bow and um, that is from Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. Um, she has a bunch of um, the little candy uh, slices. Um, it also comes in this one right here and I shared this recently and you get all the different colors here um, along of course with the black uh, sequins but um, she also separate she also sells these separately so I'll leave the link in the description box as well for that but that's what I used here and I thought it was appropriate because this is kind of you know candy sweet sweet themed um, and then I did do a lot of stickling as you can see there and um, pop the lollipops up also on some foam um, the foam I'm using is not very dimensional so it is um, only, I don't know, like 1 16th 
of an inch thick. It's really not that thick. So um, you just get a little bit of dimension. And then this Merry Christmas, that is just, um, I just fussy cut that from uh, one of my Christmas papers because um, I was looking for a, a nice sentiment to put on this card. And um, that was, um, I think that was from a DCWV Christmas paper called Mary Maud. Um, sure you guys have it in your stash. It's a really cute one. Okay, and then the inside looks like that. I didn't um, put any sentiment yet. And then um, the back looks like that. So I did also ink up my edges with some, this one right here, the Distress Oxide Salty Ocean. So that's what I did for that one. And that is my first card. So I'll put that right there. For my second card, I definitely wanted to create a little cupcake because of this piece right here that I fuzzy cut um, from... Um, that um, One Snow Me Christmas uh, paper. And I, I did mention when I, um, when I shared this paper kit, this digital paper kit, that I was gonna put it on top of a cupcake. And that's what I did. So um, I just used a lot of stickles, as you can see, it is super sparkly. And um, I did use also some um, Doodlebug uh, glitter paper from uh, Hobby Lobby for the frosting. And um, there's the snowflake again from Tim Holtz. And I used a smaller snowflake. And again, I um, just um, stickled it too. So it's nice and sparkly. And then I added again the, I love these. <laughs> these things I fussy cut. They're the little sugar cookies or um, gingerbread cookies. That is um, snowflake shaped. And then here's the little candy again. I used the blue ones this time. And that's from, again, Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. And this little sentiment here is also from that same paper pad from uh, the DCWV uh, paper, Christmas paper. And um, I love that it's a, a, I was looking for a small sentiment and I, you know, I love that it's a tag and it says, do not open until Christmas. And, um, I just fussy cut that and I thought it was super cute to just put there. And then um, the back looks like that. I didn't mat it, I just used um, this. Um, and one of you guys asked me about this, um, this stamp that I use and it is a Stampabilities stamp. So you can see there. And I believe I got this at, and I know I've seen it um, at Hobby Lobby. I think that's where I got it, but um, I know I've seen it there before, but I I don't know if it's there because this was years and years ago, but that's what it says, inspired by life. And then on the bottom says created by hand and it says one of a kind art created by, and then you would sign your name in the middle. And that's what I like to use. I stamp that on my cardstock and then I do like to um, just um, for the scallop, uh, borders there. I use this uh, Fiskars. It's a Fiskars punch. And I think it's like a two, in no, it's not two inches, is it? Now, let me see. Yeah, it's about, it's about a two inch punch, I believe. No, not quite. It's like um, one and seven eighths. And then the inside looks like this. I did mat the inside with the digital paper. So thank you so much for watching you guys and um, again check out the other ladies and see what they created and thank you Jill for hosting another Saturday morning mix and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!